to force the bus companies to integrate. And of course, uh, from that point, he focused mostly on basic civil constitutional rights, mm -hmm. the right to vote. But in 1966, mm -hmm. when he went to Chicago, he began to take this issue of poverty and economic justice more seriously. Mm -hmm. If you recall, when he went to Chicago in January 1966, he went there to fight slum conditions mm -hmm. and also to force real estate agents to cease their practices of discrimination. discrimination. Mm -hmm. Discrimination in real estate practice. He's very concerned about that. So that was actually the beginnings of his serious war on poverty in Chicago in 1966. Running up against the Daly machine, Mayor Richard J. Daly, mm -hmm. and, and the power structure in Chicago, he was fighting for the education of slum dwellers, for the organization of slum dwellers, also for what? The beginnings of a kind of poor people's campaign. Mm -hmm. A lot of people associate that with Memphis mm -hmm. and, and the poor people's campaign as it was planned by SCLC later in 1967, but it actually began in 1966. Mm -hmm. And then after 1966, 1967, Dr. King and SCLC, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, began to plan a poor people's campaign because they realized that, that even if people had access to hotels and, uh, and other accommodations, if you don't have the economic resources, what good is it? You know, Dr. Baldwin, that became important because when we moved from the rural south, picking cotton, yeah. sawmills, and et cetera. That's right. Going north, it was a belief that things would get better in for north. Africans. That's right. But nevertheless, once we arrived in the north, yeah. we found that the so-called ghetto, yeah. you see, which is to say that we were separated in the south. Yeah. But we were not separated in the south yeah. as we were separated in, in the, the north. north. Yeah. And so poverty. Yeah, and, yes. and, and, and the economic uh, deprivation of people were, was in many cases mm -hmm. more intense yeah, in the north. Very good. Uh -huh. and, and Dr. King realized that when he went to Chicago to become a part of the Chicago Freedom Movement mm -hmm. in 1966. So it begins there, and in 1967, he and SCLC began to plan the first large scale demonstration of the civil rights era, which was the Poor People's Smart. Campaign. Mm -hmm. right. uh, it spilled over from 1967 into 68. And in the course of that movement, he got involved in the Memphis sanitation mm -hmm. strike, if you recall, fighting for sanitation workers. There were a lot of people in SCLC didn't think that he should go to Memphis. Mm -hmm. But he went there because he felt that the sanitation strike was really an extension of what he was about in terms of the planning of this mm -hmm. Poor People's mm -hmm. Campaign. So he was all about poverty and economic injustice, a radical redistribution of economic resources. He was concerned about health care, mm -hmm. about education for slum dwellers, mm -hmm. and also about getting rid of what he called this syndrome of deprivation, Good. Uh -huh. which is associated with slum life and economic insecurity. Mm -hmm. uh, so Dr. King made uh, economic justice, poverty, uh, a part of that last crusade of the civil rights movement. That's mm -hmm. what he was about, aside from this question of international mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. But he was very concerned about economic justice, bringing about economic justice. Public accommodation mm -hmm. meant absolutely nothing, nothing. Yeah. if you did not have the opportunity to go it, to the rest. Exactly. Public accommodations, public access yes. mm -hmm. meant nothing. If you don't have the money to rent a room mm -hmm. in a hotel, if you don't have the money to eat at a restaurant, mm -hmm. what good is, is access to public mm -hmm. accommodation? And it was always assumed that once Africans left the rural south yeah. and went to uh, the, the north. north, where there were buildings and yeah. indoor toilets and et cetera, and et cetera, yeah. that we had overcome. Exactly. We had overcome one aspect of poverty, yeah. but we had not overcome the economic aspects. Exactly, Is that what we're exactly. Saying? You're talking about something that was deeply entrenched in the structures and institutions of this country. And Dr. King realized that, and he felt that the African Americans in the North were no different from whites and African Americans in the South. Mm -hmm. Because if you remember, the South was the most poverty-stricken area mm -hmm. of the country, and it was not just blacks, it was whites also. Mm -hmm. 
more and, so because exactly. they, numerically they made up a larger number. Exactly, yes, and King's movement was really, this Poor People's Campaign was about bringing together blacks and poor whites and Appalachian whites and Native Americans and Hispanic Americans. It was really a sort of rainbow coalition mm -hmm to try to dramatize the, the problems of poverty and economic injustice before the mm -hmm. nation. Dr. Bowen, I tell you, this uh, we're, we're getting ready for the second commercial break, mm -hmm. but uh, this information, I'm just pulling this information together mm -hmm. and to demonstrate that Africans who were in the South picking cotton yeah. were discriminated against yeah. as well as Africans who were in the North. Even though it was better to what? Leave the South, the black, yeah. mig all the migratory movements yeah. from the uh, South to the North indicated that there was something better up there. Yeah. But once we got there, the situation yeah. was just... It was like, not the promised land, as Dr. Promise King land. said. Uh, the uh, we're still in search of the uh -huh. promised land, and hopefully mm -hmm. we can when deal with that in the third segment. Uh-huh, yes, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, well, I, well I, I certainly can appreciate that because mm -hmm. it, 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 it makes a lot of sense and uh, all the things that we are talking about, uh, these, this is tracing my own personal and, history. And, and your own pilgrimage. Yeah, yeah. And I think we all made those uh, when we went off to these institutions in the northern parts of the United yeah, yeah, States we, and we yeah. saw things a little different, yeah. but we still remembered